Hey all you cavies. Today we are doing a general update. Um, it's 2018. Here's our cage that was in the last video. All the supports have been taken out. So this is going to be our bottom floor. It There was a fake floor that went like vertical up to these mirrors but we took that floor out and the supports below it so now there's an extra seven inches of height for him or her and we removed these two mirrors they took had to take a razor blade to this adhesive that they were applied with that way we could smooth it out it wouldn't be cause problems when we're waterproofing it later um, we're gonna leave those two because it's it's a lot of work and <laughs> it's gonna be easier just to cover them and glass gets everywhere everywhere um, we also took the I don't even know what they're called but Com compression hinges yeah took them out <coughs> work I don't know how they would hold up in high humidity so we're gonna put some latches on the outside to secure the doors. Um, over here we have our colubrids that are out of brumation. These ones are out of brumation. These ones were in our the baby rack over here, uh, but we've moved them to this rack so they have more space and they'll be able to grow into it. It's a little roomy for them, but they'll grow into it. Now two of, we have two pairs here that we're gonna attempt to breed this season. Now, when you pull them out of brumation, you feed them really well, and then you wait until their first shed of after brumation. And then you can put the, well, after the female's first shed. And then you can start putting the male with them. And uh, usually, from what I've read, they'll hook up almost, you know, within an hour, but most of the time it's usually right away. You only have to put them together a few times. You, you don't really only have to do it once, but most do it a few times. And then uh, typically you'll, you'll get a pregnant uh, snake. But Serafina is our ruby-eyed lavender king. She just shed yesterday. So that means we can officially put Dante, our male California king, in there with her and see what happens. I would be excited to see what kind of young they produce. Now the other pair, she has not shed yet, so she's not ready to try, is Alice, our snow corn. And then Carl, our reverse Okiki. And then maybe we'll find out what they would produce together. Okay, so our dubia colony seems to be doing pretty good. I mean, we see lots of babies everywhere. And there's about three adult males with, I think, 13 or 14 females. So, there's that. Now... Annalise was the one that had the babies, I mean the eggs, and we've been trying to feed her as much as she will take so that she can get her weight back up. Now she just ate Friday and she's already looking like she's put on some weight but we're definitely going to want to keep feeding her as much as she will take. And Aurora, she jumped up to 550 grams, and she shed recently, so she is, <laughs> she's definitely growing. I haven't measured how long she is, but I can see that her length is definitely. Yeah, she's a albino Burmese. Got a little piece of skin stuck on her from the shed. Well, it's okay. You wanna? I'd rather put water on. Yeah, we'll put some water and take that off later. But yeah, 
She's coming along really, really good. That's Sarah's personal snake. <laughs> but speaking of <coughs> eggs, they're doing well. <laughs> they all still look really good. And it's at 90% humidity and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, there's. there's been, go ahead. Oh, there's been about 24 days. So. They're looking good. There's no dimpling, no discoloration. They're all plump. Uh, so we're hoping that uh, that's a good sign. Can't wait till cutting day. Cutting day should be about March 28th, is what we're estimating. So. We'll see what happens on March 28th with this. May that was our mixing of our Dusty, our Mojave, and Annalise, our uh, Black Pewter. Let's we'll see what they come up with. You can see our one of our big girls over here in the corner. She ate a big meal. She is a huge red tail. She's on her on her heat area just letting that food set and our rats uh, we have the male feeders here female feeders here these are the bigger feeders these are the smaller so right now those are empty and we have a lot more females <laughs> than we do males I thought that was interesting we have some brand new babies in here. She just had them today. So I, I have not counted. I usually don't bother them for a few days. And then we have some smaller babies. Oh, in here, they're about two weeks. They're fuzzies. Yep. So we have a four breeding colonies yeah. these this one's the youngest we put about six week old females in there with about a four week old male that way I would by the time the females are about by the time the male is ready the females should have been more than ready but we haven't seen anything from them yet but that's okay I didn't expect anything from them for a while Um, he likes to chill in his water bowl and just kind of watch <laughs> I think he looks like he's looking at the cat yeah the right. cats and him interact kind of funny he, he'll stare at him you get close up on him and cats will get their nose up there and he doesn't back down or shy from him at all <laughs> no. but I can't wait to get his new home set up to get him in it. Well, lately he's been waiting to eat any of the mealworms I leave in there until I feed them to him. She spoiled him rotten. I, he used to eat him right out of the bowl and he quit doing it, so I, I yeah. feed him to him and he takes him. He uh, seems to be doing a little gaping with his mouth, which we know is a possibility of a respiratory infection or a respiratory infection in general. And so we're going to Nebulize him. Got the stuff ordered. Yep. And uh, it isn't bad yet. He just started and he isn't doing it all the time. So uh, vet says nebulization will probably work great in, in this early stages, stages of it. And uh, we've been keeping him humidity, humidity up great. Oh yeah, it's at <laughs> 79. That's 79. Yeah, and the, and the issue is I think the temperature, we can't get it up to 90. The best we can get is like 80, 85. Yeah. And uh, have a real hard time with that. But when I get my ideas <laughs> into the big cage, it'll be 90 in there and the humidity will be 80 guaranteed. We'll have time to work with it. Yep. Put them into it when the conditions are perfect and everything's Right. Good. We Rather will. Than playing with conditions while they're living in it, it is nicer. It's really nice to know that you can perfect the conditions, come home let it run all day, come home, see where it's at, and it's 
if it's terrible conditions, at least the lizard's not in there yet. Right, right. <laughs> well, what we're going to do too is uh, we will be doing an actual full uh, reptile room update where we're pulling out the every every snake we have, every animal we have, and then you look at them. Yes, including our big Russian blue down there, all 18 pounds of him. Um, yeah, he's a big boy. But anyway, uh, we will be doing that. Uh, just going to have to get some time together. But uh, So that's generally what we're going on this one. That's about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go take out those turtles. Oh, take them out or check them out? No, we'll check them out. Okay. They yeah. don't like being so No, they do not like being picked, took out. They will run for you for two days. Yeah. <laughs> they, they think they're going to be fed right now, and actually they could be. It's about time for them to be fed. Well, this, this tank is eventually, we're hoping to sometimes this year get up to 150 gallons. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see. Well, Hannah is the one up top right now. She, oh. She got scared of the camera. She loves the shrimp. Kamisha is the one on the bottom, and she does not like the shrimp. She likes the aqua pellets. And of course, they both go crazy over live. I don't know what she's doing. Normally, she should come up and take it out of her hand, but I think what? I'm here and the camera's on, and I think it's panicking her a little bit, maybe. Yeah, she's looking right at me. She's not liking the fact that I'm here. Well, I haven't been the one feeding them the past few days either. It's been slowly. Look. Yum. There you go. There you go. Yeah, all right. She'll take another one, too. <laughs> when she's done with that one, she'll take another one. So anyway, that's the turtles. Try not to overfeed them. Yeah, they will the overeat. The gets all freaking nasty real fast. They'll, they will overeat in a heartbeat. Yeah, I'll put a few in here. Yeah, go ahead and put some pellets in for the other one. Yeah, I'll do that. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. <coughs> Just wanted to give you a general feeling, feeling because we've been so busy we haven't been able to get any videos up like we used to as often. So, uh, you guys have a blessed day. and From Sarah, me, and Chloe, we'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>